Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10 says finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might the word strong means explosive strength ability and power and the word gives us an ex- uh, a, a wonderful picture or an image of an explosive power that is deposited into a container or a vessel so which means that when paul is saying you know be strong in the lord and in the power of his might he's saying that you know you and i were created to be vessels you and i were designed or created by god to be vessels to contain or to receive his amazing explosive supernatural power and and the fact is that god wants to deposit his power god wants to pour out his power into us as human vessels or containers and um, and we definitely need the supernatural power of god uh, we need the power of god to stand against the attacks of the enemy because we know that the powers of darkness um, they we are in conflict with the powers of darkness and the fight that we fight is not a natural or an earthly fight you know it's a supernatural or a spiritual fight it's a spiritual conflict which needs spiritual strength which needs spiritual weapons and therefore god has designed that he would he would pour out his spirit in us that he would pour out his power in us his strength in us that we might be able to stand against the attacks of the evil one uh, we also need god's divine supernatural power to do the works that the lord jesus said that we would do as believers in john chapter 14 and verse 12 the lord says that uh, these things that i do you will do also um, and he says because you believe in me so therefore we need to do that we need to do the works of god the works that he has created or the works that he has uh, prepared for us to walk in and uh, we do it with his power we do it with his help and thirdly to fulfill the great commission to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature we need his divine power and that is why he said wait or tarry in jerusalem till you are covered or endued with power from on high so let's not shy away um, as paul is urging us to present ourselves spirit soul and body uh, as willing vessels uh, to receive him to to receive power from him you know many times we we talk about the character of god the holiness of god the purity of god and the love of god and we stop short of talking about the power of god and we know that the presence of god uh, uh, the, uh, is filled with the power of god and god's presence and god's power go hand in hand it's it's not uh, something that is separate um, so as we earn for yearn for the presence of god maybe also hunger for his power to fill us because god has created us that we might be filled that we might be vessels who will contain that explosive strength and ability that comes from him so paul writes and he says be strong in the lord and in the power of his might so we are called to this we are we are in fact invited to this and we are commanded to be strong in the lord and in the power of his might so let's hunger and thirst thirst for more of his power for more of his love and even as we know that very familiar chorus which goes um like this which says uh, more love more power more of you in my life let's pray father we thank you that you've created us to be vessels of honor in your hands lord and we thank you that you've designed us so that we will be receptacles of vessels who will be recipients of your presence and recipients of your power father we thank you that you want to fill us with your power so that we might carry out and carry out all that you want us to do lord your plans your purposes and i pray this uh, right now that you would fill us with your presence that you would fill us with your power we thank you in jesus name amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org